Bro, to F5, bro! Si Raúl, ¿no? ¡Sí, no, no, The Poco FI Pro is here. This is the ultimate flagship killer of 2023. After so many years, two years has passed and no other phone has ever claimed the flagship killer. Since the Poco phone F1 that is. That is until the Poco FI Pro has come to town. Guys, ako na nagsabi sa inyo, mas malupit pa to kaysa Poco X4 GT which is yung super sulit namin na phone, pinakamagandang phone last year sa aming tier list. So si Poco F5 ay dalawang klaseng variant. Meron Poco F5 and Poco F5 Pro. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Poco F5 Pro Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor po siya. Meron siyang WQHD Plus display, 1440p po yan. A huge battery, 5,500 mAh. Although it's not the biggest, syempre. May mga ibang gaming phones na na 6,000 mAh. But 5,500 mAh ay sobrang ganda na nun. Grabe yung ngayon ako. Guys, meron silang ginawa dito para sobrang mapamura, mapababa yung presyo. This is only 350 euros nung nirelease siya sa China. That is less than 20,000 pesos. <sighs> Grabe, nag-i... Diba na kaya? Ano kaya? Ang specs na nakita ko. Bagong display manufacturer daw sila dito So mas pinamura yung display Pero mas maganda daw yung kanyang quality Compared sa Samsung AMOLED display Hindi daw siya umiinit sa Genshin Impact Kahit taka Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 Kasi daw hindi daw siya yung the same chipset It may look the same It may sound the same Meron daw silang tinwik na konti At meron siyang extra cooling technique na ginagawa Na natest nila at hindi daw umiinit Glad to see Bold words there Oh yes Mmm Ibigyan sa Pilipinas, bold words. So yun, without further ado, let us unbox the Poco F5 Pro. Hapal si Beans, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woo! Oh, by the way, if you want to check out the full specs of this phone, punta ka lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Okay, so standard Poco box right here. Same as last year. Ganito pa yung tura ng box. We got a combination of black and yellow. Poco FI Pro with your favorite Google apps. Google is a trademark of Google LLC. Kasi may mga bang brands kasi na walang Google. Pinapamukha niya lang. Mirrors of 5G. Connectivity will vary based on local operator capabilities. Meron pa tayo dito ang white variant. Wala pala yung colors niya. May black, may white. We've got here 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of ROM. Laki. Napakalaki ng nilalagay nila dito. Ito pa yung small box. Poco. And inside, we got the SIM ejector pin. And standard jelly case. But wow. Matayong papeles ha. Quick start guide. Which is pang global, maramihang lingwahe. Also the safety information, marami din yan. And the warranty card. Here's the phone. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my God. Kwapo ka. Okay. Underneath, we're gonna get the 67 watt charger. No 120 watts fast charging dito. But still, okay na yan para sa akin. We've got here a USB Type-C cable. Pretty centered. Oh, by the way, this phone, 5,500 mAh of battery can charge 67 watts. Wired and 30 watts wireless. Here we go. Ooh. Guys, look at that. That is a glass back. Very premium. Yung build quality ay very much the same sa Xiaomi 13. Well, actually, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, no? Curve back. Maganda yung build quality. Very premium sa kamay. Actually, sa likod, yung shape niya is the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. At ayun na nga, nagkaiba lang talaga yung camera nila. The camera here is kakaiba, no? It's not the usual dalawang tatlong malaking bilog sa likod. This still has that island-style design. Medyo pang 2022 pa rin yung design niya. It's got 1, 2, 3, 64MP triple camera setups. Meron siya 8MP ultra wide angle lens and 2MP macro lens. Meron siyang 3 tone LED flash dito and it says it is an OIS camera. Actually, na-unbox ko na to. We have actually taken pictures with this phone and oh my god, this is the real deal. I'm not sure kung anong camera ang nilagay nila doon sa Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G but this is the real OIS camera guys. Mamaya, makita nyo bakit ang ganda ng camera niya. And by the way, kanyang selfie camera is 16 megapixels punch hole. And just like what I told you, it definitely looks like the Redmi 12 Pro Plus 5G in every way. This is a white, ah. We've got here the Poco 5G and may CE, meaning global siya. Sa China walang CE, guys. Mas malinis pa yung sa China. Sa gilid, you know, power button, volume rocker, 
sa left side wala, sa taas, we got here a microphone, IR blaster, a speaker, no? One and two na sa ilalim. Dual stereo speakers. By the way, meron na siyang Dolby Atmos. My USB Type-C port, microphone, and the SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot. Wala po siyang micro SD card for expandability, pero 256 naman siya. Para sa ano na yan? Oh, by the way, yung kanyang RAM pala, 12GB of RAM. It is already UFS 3.1, LPDDR5 na po siya. So, mabilis na yan. And meron na siyang dynamic RAM expansion expansion technology 3.0 na daw which means magbabaro daw siya ng extra from the ROM para daw maging 16-18 gigabytes yung magic na ginagawa daw nila pang palaki ng RAM guys eto na po the most exciting part of this phone alam nyo na yan no? kapag display dito ako nilalabasan oh, dito ako tumitirik Sobrang nailam ako sa display. Well, bakit kasi? Well, guys, the display is actually the, the second most important thing sa isang smartphone. It is where you do all your interactions. Dito ako tumitingin. Dito ka nanonood. Dito ka nag-games. Dito ka humahawak lahat. Everything you do is on the screen. So, it has to be the best. Number one is battery, syempre. Without power, hindi mo magagamit lahat yun. And even yung performance. Nothing without power. Now, speaking of power, it has a powerful WQHD Plus display. 1440 by 3200. 120 Hz refresh rate po siya. 480 Hz touch sampling rate. Oh, napaka-responsive niyan. By the way, si Poco F5 lang, yung non-pro version, ay only 240 Hz touch sampling rate. And it's got up to 1,400 nits of peak brightness. Meron pa siyang HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and the build quality of the display is a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 na po siya. But wait, hindi po Samsung AMOLED yung nilagay nila dito. They actually used a different Chinese developed display na actually, akala namin parang may medyo kinabahan kami dito ah. Kapag kasi nag-Samsung AMOLED sila, mamahal lang sobra yung phone. They did this to put the price down. Pero, nagulat kami sa aming nakita dito. Na-experience namin yung kanyang brightness, yung kanyang color. It is in a totally different level. Good move yan. No? Nakita namin yan. We played a YouTube video. It looked so So good, so sharp. At ito pala yung gusto ko sa Poco ha. Sa Poco, meron siya mga iba't ibang klaseng additions. Like meron siyang image enhancement, video enhancement feature. Makita sa display, this will totally make your videos much more detailed. Much more pleasing to the eye. Also, meron siyang MEMC, which is nahanap din sa mga flagship ni Xiaomi and ni OnePlus. Si MEMC guys, ay ginagawa niya dito is yung mga videos na hindi 60fps, like 30fps, 24fps. Ginagawa niya pong smooth into 60fps format yung video para mukha siyang smooth. Pero kung ayaw nyo yung parang smoothening na nangyayari, you can always turn it off para din makasave ka ng battery. Speaking of battery, ito yun ah. This is the magic of this phone. You can either have the glorious WQHD Plus Display 1440p na mas sharp, mas bright, mas vibrant. Or you can have the full HD Plus version which saves so much battery. Alam ko naisip na rito, kaya nalang nilakin yung battery 5,500 mAh para i-accommodate yung super sharp 1440p display. Pero para sa akin, important talaga yung battery. Number one nga yung battery para sa akin eh. It's got the super resolution for enhancing videos. Meron siyang AI image enhancement, AI HDR enhancement, and even yung MEMC. And so, nag-update kami ngayon, guys. Ah, yun na. Ayun na, mag-boot. What? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ah, dok lang. Kayo. Ang kulinisip nyo. Bad kayo, ha? And... Ah. Ah, di ba? Oh. Teka lang, ha? Oh, no. My ads. Wow, ganda na. Okay, so sa video, meron dito yung parang swipe left. Kita nyo yan? May panel po nalalabas dyan. And here, you can actually upscale a 720p video to 2K. May upscale siya. Also, meron siyang Dolby Atmos dito. My picture, ayan no? If you want some extra enhancement pa. Parang patong-patong at itong enhancement na to ah. You can screenshot dito, record your video. It is very handy. And meron pa siyang shortcut to Facebook, WhatsApp, your games, and pretty much every app pala. Pwede kayong lumipat-lipat dito. Now, in terms of brightness, naku, napaka-bright po nitong display na to. We were able to use it sa labas nung walang problema. And watching videos here, yung mga HDR videos really blew us away with the amount of colors and details and even yung lighting sa background sobrang ganda sobrang balanced marami kang pwede makita sa mga shadowy parts but the best thing about this phone is syempre sa gaming no? when you're gonna play games here like Mobile Legends naku ultra ultra <laughs> ultra ultra <laughs> okay so 
may gulat ako. So, this is the most optimized phone at launch sa kahit anong game. Unang-una, meron siyang ultra graphics, ultra refresh rate sa so Mobile Legends. The game looks smooth. Graphics looks amazing. Things that beautiful display. Isipin nyo, naglalaro kayo ng ganito. Ngayon, sabag na kayo mag 1440p display. Kapag ka naglalaro kayo ng games, kasi ma mabilis mabos yung battery, go for the FHD+. Plus. Yung kanina pinakita ko, mas marami kayong games na pwedeng laro yun. Na nakagulat nga eh, kasi nga, even though it has a 5,500 milliampers of battery, napakaan pa rin ng phone. The phone is only 204 grams. By the way, si iPhone ko pala is 240 grams. Ito ay 204 grams, so 36 grams less. Parang ginagawa ni Poc. Parang grabe naman to. And yung presyo. Yung presyo. I don't know. It is the comeback of flagship killers this year. Mga phones ngayon talagang ang sarap tinan ng mga specs. Also, na master na nila yung heating issue. Nawala naman siya ng heating issue dito, guys. I've played Mobile Legends. Do me in it. Wala frame drops. A very, very smooth experience on Mobile Legends. Guys, sa Call of Duty, meron na siya 90 frames per second mode. Ultra MP mode. Kaya lang na sa low graphics na yun, pwede nyo ang ilagay dito. I'm not sure why. Feel ko kaya naman. Ganun ba talaga kabigat yung Call of Duty at the very highest frame rates? No? Pero kasi Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 na to. Wait lang ha. Before I show you more of the gameplay, here is the Antutu benchmark of the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 ng Poco F5 Pro. 1 million 54,000 points. Incredible. Ito yan. Maabot na ng 1 million lagi. This one is different now from the usual Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1. Hindi na kasi umiinit to. You don't have to know the other details kung paano yung architecture differences and things like that. But, yes! Hindi na po siya umiinit. It plays so well sa Call of Duty. And yung sound quality coming from the speakers ay napaka-immersive, no? That stereo speakers, akala mo nandun ako sa laro mismo. It does project that Dolby Atmos feel. Kaya lang syempre yung Dolby Atmos is parang top, down, left, right, pati sa likod mo. This is not it, no? <laughs> Feeling ko siguro kala mo ng headphones dito. That's why for me, pag smartphones, Dolby Atmos is still artificial. But it does have that immersive feel, no? When you're playing the game, parang meron syempre parang sound dito na nag-envelope sa ears mo. Buo din siya, no? Hindi syempre parang kapag tinatas mo yung volume, pag sagad na basag Pahingan. It actually has very nice speakers. Wow, kudos to you, Poco, for including these nice speakers here. Pero ito talaga, this is my favorite, favorite game. Also the heaviest game sa Play Store. Which is si Genshin Impact, no? It has been since 2020. Na ito lang yung lagi kong tinetest kasi walang ibang popular game na ganito kaganda yung graphics. So, although meron yung Honkai Impact. Pero Genshin Impact pa rin. Now, usually, kapag naglalaro ako ng game na to, no? Highest settings, 60 FPS. I always play at the highest settings kapag flagship yung phone. Kasi gusto ko i-test kung hanggang saan yung kaya niya in terms of yung performance. Pinapromise kasi nila sa kanila mga videos or key keynotes na kaya na daw niya mag Genshin Impact na hindi umiinit, 60 FPS, consistent, mga things like that. But here, guys, consistent, hindi umiinit. Very smooth yung gameplay. This is parang sobrang proud ako na to recommend to you the Poco F5 Pro. It does not heat up when playing this game. Heat up depende, no? Kasi meron mga iba dyan na konting init lang is mainit na para sa kanila. It does get warm like 37 degrees Celsius but that is an impressive number. Kasi usually guys, mga nasa 43, 4 pataas ang Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Major improvement po yan. Meron daw kasi siyang heat sink na nakatulong na sobra sa heating problem. Also, super optimized na kasi na kanyang processor kaya wala na siyang problema sa mga itong klaseng games. Guys, if you are planning to play really heavy games, finally, finally, at an affordable price, you can have that experience with the Poco F5 Pro. At hindi pa tapos yan. Kasi <laughs> akala namin hanggang gaming na lang yung kanyang strengths but when we tested out yung kanyang camera. So ito pala si LJ. Siya yung kumukuha ng mga photos namin. Videographer namin guys. LJ. So bro ano sa'yo ha? Ah? Nga sir. At first akala ko talaga gaming phone lang siya kasi yun yung minamarket. Pero ah. when I tested out yung camera. I was impressed po. Ang ganda nung image quality. Sobra. Ah. Kasi usually kasi guys, pagka gaming phone, di na kami masyado nagko-consider masyado ng photos. No, parang protocol na lang. Okay, kailangan natin na extra photos. Gawin na natin. Pero we were surprised talaga. Ganda. Nice. Oh, by the way, ito na pala yung mga photos na nakuha namin using the phone. Poco F5 Pro photos. Here are, may watermarks pa ba guys. This is legit. These were taken from 
the Poco F5 Pro. Unang-una ang lakas ng dating ng mga photos dito. Although it's, the colors is not super accurate. So, so if you are someone of a photographer or kung ito yung trabaho mo, hindi ito yung hinanap mo. <laughs> Siyempre, pero kung isa kang tao na gusto mong maganda agad yung photo, mukhang maayos agad, isang click pa lang, ito na yon. The photos look detailed, sharp. Hindi ko ito nakita sa Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5. Dito yung dapat ko sana makita doon. This one is far superior in terms of contrast, in terms of yung sharpness, in terms terms of yung walang pagbablur sa mga gilid-gilid and yung mga tao na ano no subjects hindi OA yung itsura nila dito uh, hindi siya yung parang sobrang OA yung whitening smoothening it looks so natural oh kung ano itsura sa totoong buhay ito yung expect nyo talaga o pati yung mga black na damit no maraming details nakikita yung mga lukot kasi guys kapag kapangit yung camera yung mga black talagang crush siya yung mga lukot hindi mo na makita yung mga extra details this one allows you to see them okay din siya for group photos ang ganda pangano nga selfie nyo dito ah you know Pogi pogi, mau kartu sign itu siapa nama? Si Beng. Oh, kata lain ni Francis. Hei, Francis, si Beng. Hei. Oh my God. Pada sa video pada mana sa. Speaking of Beng, itu nampak si Beng with all of her photos. Ayan po, siapa yang main model kami? Anggalingnya po kasing mana mit? Kaya perfect po sya. Actually, pilih ko inabangan nya na ipa pakai sya video lagi, so lagi sya resort nang magende. Tapi magalas sya magposting din, anggalingnya magposting. Ede wow. Yung low light nya, I couldn't say na super okay sya. Well, extreme nasi to. Asinum konting ilaw lang talaga to. Ito yung kanyang low light. Tapi night mode, the night mode is a major difference between the photo mode and the night mode. Ganyan po yung difference. Ito pa yung video nun. Ito pa yung tura ng 4K 60 frames per second niya. It's sharp, vlog ready. Parang ito na yung the complete package, no? In terms of lahat ng features na hinahanap mo sa isang cellphone at a very affordable price. Tunay na flagship killer talaga siya. So, I don't even think na kung, kung Android na naman na. Nakalaan mo pang gumastos ng 50, 60K for a phone. This actually gave me everything I needed. Plus more, ang dami niya settings dito. 64 MP, vlog mode, short video, slow motion, time lapse, low exposure. It even has 8K 24 frames per second. Wow! Grabe naman tong binigay mo sa amin, Poco. Ah, parang feeling ko gusto pa mang full review nito. Parang ang tindi. The Poco F5 Pro will come in two colors, black and white. And will come in three variants. Ito rin mga prices nila, no? 8 to 5.6 26,999 pesos. Tapos meron pa siyang 12 to 5.6 28,999 pesos. And the biggest one, 12, 5, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12